today let's take up a question on uh, journal entries uh, so we have done um, all the journal entries in our previous sessions all the transactions we have looked at uh, and um, let's now try to take up a question in which we will take up some of the transactions and uh, write down the journal entries for that okay <clears throat> started business with cash rupees 30,000 goods rupees 15,000 and furniture rupees 20,000 now here he is starting business with cash rupees 30,000 and there are also some assets in this right so these assets have also to be debited like normally when a businessman brings in cash then it is cash account to capital account that is the first entry we make here it will be like this cash account debit 30,000 now he is starting the business with these uh, assets so here goods account will be debited with 15,000 and furniture account will be debited with 20,000 and capital account is credited right so this is 30 plus 20 50 50 plus 16 is 65,000 like this right so being being business started with cash goods and furniture right okay now the next entry let's take up uh, let's say here sold goods to Mr. Peter for rupees 50,000 right so here this is Peter account debit to sales account right uh, then we write purchased goods amounting to rupees one lakh fifty thousand from mr. Bandari out of these goods worth rupees eighty thousand was bought on credit was bought on credit so here basically this is uh, purchases right so we'll have purchases account debit the whole of the amount of the purchases will come now we are saying that out of these out of this one lakh fifty thousand eighty thousand is bought on credit so for that mr bandari account will be credited right eighty thousand and the rest of the amount is cash purchase so you will have a uh, two <clears throat> two cash account here right two cash account 70,000 like this right okay now let's take up purchased a machinery from Deepak and Sons for rupees seventy eight thousand on credit right so this is purchasing a machinery so machinery is coming in machinery account debit and this is a credit purchase so I'll write to Deepak and Sons account right seventy eight thousand okay here okay now let's see another transaction paid income tax amounting to rupees 55,000 right 
now this income tax is being paid we looked at this when income tax is paid you can put it as this income tax account debit to cash account 55000 right and then we can write drawings account debit to income tax account right 55000 the second one is for transferring it to the drawings account of the partner uh, treating it as a drawings the these two entries can be combined together like uh, if you want you can put these two entries together you can see a income tax account debit here and a income tax account is credit here so both of them gets cancelled so we can write something like this drawings account debit to cash account this is also the entry for income tax right then uh, The next entry that I would take up is depreciation of rupees ten thousand is provided on the machinery purchased, right? So for the depreciation, it's basically depreciation account debit to machinery account. whatever asset we are depreciating that will come here right 10,000 and 10,000 like this right okay then uh, let's look at some entries for value added tax now let's say sold goods to Anita enterprises for rupees 8000 plus that at the rate of 10% right Now here, when you are selling goods, there is a credit sale, so I will have Anita Enterprises account debit, right? And here we will have two sales account. The amount of sales is how much? The amount of sales is 8000, right? And VAT is 10% on that. So when you are making a sales, you collect the VAT, so it will be VAT collected account debit, or sorry, two VAT collected account. So this is 10% of 8,000 is 800 rupees and here the total amount will be 8,800 like this, right? Okay, now one more uh, transaction. Purchase goods from Ankit for rupees uh, let's say 55,000 a trade discount of 10% was allowed and VAT was paid at the rate of 10% right so here purchases account debit to sorry here you have paid the VAT so you will write VAT paid account debit right and then to Ankit account to Ankit account uh, here we are purchasing the goods for rupees 55,000 and a trade discount of 10% was allowed means this is uh, basically 55,000 right minus 55,000 is the amount and 
5500 will be deducted from this right because 10% of that is a trade discount right so um, you will have 49500 as the sales amount right so 49500 sorry 49500 VAT paid will be 10 percent of this amount so that will be 4950 right and two Ankit account will be the total of this that is 49500 plus 4950 uh, so that will be here hmm. I'll write the narration being goods purchased from Ankit and paid VAT right this amount this will be 49500 plus 4950 so that will be 0 5 14 54,450 right so here we will have 54,450 right so we have taken up some journal entries in which uh, we have seen uh, transactions relating to uh, value added tax depreciation income tax and uh, some more journal entries right so with this I would like to end today's session in the next session um, I'll take up more journal entries and then uh, will proceed to posting into the ledger right